In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to add floating social media icons to your WordPress or Elementor website, just like this over here. For example, when I scroll through my page, you see my social media icons floating besides the page. And when someone clicks on the social icon, it will take them straight to that platform and that will be in a new tab. In this case, this is my blog. And obviously, our social icons will be responsive on a mobile device, just like you see over here. Same for a tablet device. Alright, so if that is something that you're interested in, make sure that you like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get started. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Hamza. We will go into our Elementor dashboard. I already have my Elementor page opened up over here. So I'm going to come to the very first section. I'm going to come to the widgets area and I'll search up for social icons. I'll drag them into my editor. So with our icons selected and the social icons, we can add or remove icons. For example, we have Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. We can add more. For example, if I want to add my blog, I can come over here, look up for an icon. I'll add a link icon. I'll insert that icon. And I can add a link to my website. For example, I'll select my blog URL and I'll paste my link over here. I can choose to open my blog URL in a new window. The same you can do for the other social accounts, like I can add a link to my Facebook. But in this case, if I don't have a Facebook account, I can simply remove that option. So we are only three icons over right here. We can even add more. For example, if I want to add like Instagram, I'll add that. I can reorganize or reorder. Then I can come over here to my Instagram icon and I can add my Instagram URL. Same for the other platforms. Then the other option is uh, choosing which color we want to use for this icon. We want to use a custom color or we can set that up under style option instead of doing it manually for every icon over here. For example, for Twitter, Instagram and YouTube, we can do that under the style option. But more on that later. Once you are done adding your social platforms, we're going to come under shape. Instead of using the rounded shape, we're going to use a circle. And columns, instead of auto, I'm going to use one column because I want to have them vertical. And I want them to be left aligned. Something like that. Under style, I'm going to, instead of choosing to use the official color, I'm going to use a custom color. And the primary color is going to be transparent and we'll make the second color to be white, something like that. But in this case, if I want to just adopt my colors that I'm using in my theme, I'm going to select one of the items. I'll choose my color code. I'll come back to my social icons and a style secondary color. I'll choose to use my color code. The size is going to be 30. That is for the desktop. You can play along with the padding the way you want. I'll leave it to a 0.3. All right, I'm not going to add any icon hover effects, but if you want to do that, whereby if someone hovers over this icon, it shows up a separate color or a different one. You just come over here on the secondary color and you can play along with that. So in case someone hovers over our icon, then they are able to get a specific color. But in this case, I'll not add a hover color. All right, so since we're not adding any color on hover, we're going to go straight to the advanced option. And under the advanced option, we're going to add a Z index. And this will make sure that the icons are not hidden behind certain sections or elements. Obviously, make sure that your icons are selected under Z index. I'll make this to be 99. And since I don't have any element on my page that is above the Z index of 99, that will position my icons to be on top of all the elements on this page. Now, under motion effect, I'm going to add an entrance animation for these icons. When you look into our already made page over here, when I reload, you realize that our icons float in from the top. So to do that, we are going to come back here to our website and we are going to come to the entrance animation and we are going to add a fade in down animation. Let me preview for you how that looks like currently. Beautiful. Now we're going to position our icons on our page just right over here. So back into our editor under the advanced option, come to positioning. We will change the width to inline auto and we are going to go to position and we are going to change this to fixed. We are going to change the horizontal orientation from 
0 pixels to 16 pixels. That will move our icons from the edge of the page to 16 pixels inside the page. Then under the vertical orientation, we'll make sure that they are aligned to the top and we'll change the offset to percentages and we'll give it a 43%. Now when I scroll, the, our icons are fixed 16 pixels horizontally from the edge of the page and 43% from the top of the page. Let's have a preview once again of our page. Awesome! Now let's go and work on our mobile responsiveness and see how our icons will appear like on mobile devices. Back in the editor, I'm going to select the mobile responsive mode and I'll select one, the tablet device. This looks fine. Looks like I don't have to do anything. Still, my icons are clickable. They're not hidden behind any section and they are very visible on the page. Let me go to the mobile phone. Alright, so here we're going to do something. We're going to reduce a little bit on the size of the icon so that they're not covering up some words or even elements on our page. See over like here, they're hiding over some words. That means that someone won't be able to read our words clearly. Make sure that you have your icon selected under style. We're going to change this from 30 and give it like a 14 pixel size. They will still be clickable and visible on the page they won't be covering up some sections or elements of your page. Let me update our preview page. I'll preview this now on a mobile device. All right, so we have our icons floating in and they're not being covered by any element or section. I'll look at our icons on a tablet device, still visible as well. And when someone clicks on the icon, it will take them straight in a new tab and take them to that URL. In this case, it is my blog. That's how you can add floating social media icons to your WordPress website using Elementor without adding an extra plugin. If you found this tutorial useful, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a good time and goodbye.